Is Cut OT what I'm here with? OG. Brian of the real OG. Man, straight dreams, man. Y'all already know what it is. How you be the baby, OG Craig? Um, I'm a real OG, and a fuck nigga was hating on me and said I was old and washed up, proved him wrong. And the fans named me that actually. So I started using them when I started battle rapping. Okay. And I stuck with them. Street Dreams. How you get the name Street Dreams? Well, I got the name Street Dreams, but everybody knows me as Domo. You know what I'm saying? I own the company, Street Dreams. Street Dreams, we got a rack of different things over there. Street Dreams, we got a, we a management company, we a publishing company, um, we a record company. Um, first and foremost, we a corporation. Oh, that's under the umbrella. Um, and by that, you know, I started rapping and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So, as me saying, pushing my company, I thought of it as a smart way of saying, fucking my rap name is Street Dreams to keep my brand. No question. You know what I'm saying? So I just made Standard it. Standing on business of the brand to be. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. OG Prada, you been, you been rapping a long time. Motherfuckers know you from, you know what I'm saying, being one of the hardest versus female-wise in the city. Mm -hmm. If they don't give you flowers, I would definitely give you flowers. I started, you seen me come up since me first, first coming in the game, mm -hmm. trying to make a name for myself. Yeah. I see you pop the battle rap. Shit off of you. Break it off too, man. Mm -hmm. I see you really, really, really go in with some of the best though. Some of the best battle rappers in the game salute you. Thank you. They know you in the city for the bars. With what's been different that you from from your from your era to the era that is now, what's different for you? Um basically the internet. Okay. Cause I can keep up with whatever the fuck going on, but you know I got my own motion. I make them keep up with what I got going on. But it's the internet, that's the only thing different. So you so you feel like back in your era you really had to be known in the streets. Yeah. These definitely. days you gotta be known on the internet. Absolutely. And it's crazy, but that's how it is, it's new age. No question. Okay, let's talk about your C B C B G career. How how what how was it being being like one of the first female battle rappers and how to battle with with some of the you know say the top of the DMV, as I would say. Um cool, um, very exciting, different. Because, you know, with battle rap, you don't rap on a beat, you don't go to the studio, but you do get to prepare and, um, you know, get to know your opponent and study them and all of that. And um, I liked it because so many females were scared, right? So that's what made me go to it. Secondly, I knew it would be another stepping stone for me inside the game. So I had to, uh, you know, move my pieces in the correct way. Um... It was a lot of weight on me, though, because I had to battle, what, 10 dudes? 10 to 12 dudes before I even got a female because the females were so scared. No question. I was at your first battle. Yes, he was. It, it was. it was a massacre. You tried to bang me in a nigga, bro, with sauce. It was crazy. So and I see. It, it was crazy. So for those who don't, for those who don't know you, Far as city like wise and mm -hmm. like you came up with some of the when, when rap wasn't cool when it, when it wasn't cool to rap when it wasn't when it wasn't the end thing when people wanted to be a lead talker and for those who don't know what a lead talker is in our city go go is a thing it's a, it's a culture thing and people wanted to be the person that led the band and, you know what I'm saying On the face of the band face of the band mm -hmm. but she come up in the air with Rap wasn't cool. You was looked as a lame if you rap. Man, you looked as a dork. You geek like, why the fuck you wanna rap? Man, I was, look, no I was rap. called a nerd, crazy, weird, all type of shit. Like, what you trying to be from New York? I'm like, no, I just love music. Um, I was writing poetry in junior high, so I didn't know I was a rapper yet. I was just writing poetry. It came to me fluently, you know. And um, I was in the band. I played uh, multiple instruments. And uh, when I got in high school, I, w I was singing a little bit. And it wasn't until, like, fresh out of high school, living up Lincoln Heights, going to see Backyard, going to see R.E., and uh, I have an ear for music. And I kept hearing, make them say, uh, 
and back y'all phone and the go-go. I kept saying, back y'all kid, it's too hard for all eat. So I saw one of the members, told them, uh, y'all need to hit that man and say, uh, I can hit that man x I wasn't even rapping yet. Y'all can, I can hit that man x They're like, you don't even rap. I'm like, but I can hit it. I know it. I listen to the radio every day. I know all the songs. We know them my honeys. So go to the go-go. Uh, Black Hole, I believe. Look at G. I'm like, I'm the one told y'all hit that. Give me the mic. You look like, sis, you don't work. Nigga, give me the mic. You ain't gonna fuck up? Nope. Grab my arm, put my leg up, lift me up. It was history from me. He told me, come to the Zulu that Wednesday for his birthday. And that's when I made history. When I hit the make him say, um, was recorded. Rico, P.O.P. Uh, several of us on that on that tape that night. Crazy energy. His birthday, classic. I don't know if it's still out, but if you missed it, that was crazy. See, that's a crazy era. That shit, like, before my time type shit. Mm -hmm. I was like, I right, wasn't even throwing it up. Like, you wanted to be with me. So, I was sad. And I'm only sad because this is really my OG. Like, you know her name, OG, but this is really my OG. So, a lot of times, people don't know, like, Section 8 Bob. People don't know, like, uh, uh, Serpent Boys were right now from Bitter Road was rapping and shit like that. You was thinking and Tony Blunt. Blunt. When, you, when you say those... And, and you say you're a blogger, you're a taste maker in this city, or you're a producer or a rapper, and you don't know those names. I really can't say you from this town or know this culture in this town because those are the people who come before a lot of the uh, cute foods, the big flocks, uh, the, the Wale's. That's why it's no respect. And I, I've been saying this for a long time that if we can bridge the gap between the OGs and the YGs, we can do something. It's so much talent. It's no respect because y'all young is not doing no background checks for real. They don't want to hear the, oh, I don't want to hear your old war story. I don't want to hear what you had. You got it now and all that. But the street scars that these people have paid away for y'all. Oh, wouldn't be none of y'all for what she, she was outside. We had a lot of men. Probably had a lot the other day. Mm -hmm. They was talking about how stand up a dude you are. Mm -hmm. they, was, they was definitely saluting you on that album and saying, that you really stand on business and you one of the people that go make a way. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we need brothers like you in the community that to really like and probably was selling like you give back to the community, you do those things. We need brothers like you because our city, we got we got a thing where it's crabs in the burrow mm -hmm. where the person trying to even come up with an idea. You can just be in an idea for when people are still trying to hate them. Mm -hmm. What you feel about that Street Um, to be true for what you like. Our city is so crazy, and we so different. This is right. And meaning, like I say, I've been in prison, you know what I'm saying? I've been on the street, you know what I'm saying? I've been in the mix back in the early ways that your character was your resume. It's, you know what I'm saying? You had to be solidified to be on the street. You know what I'm saying? Whereas now, like, you can walk with me, you don't, own, you, you don't do shit. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, is the urge change. Whereas that us, which is OG prime, you know what I mean, me such as yourself, you know what I'm saying, we have to adjust and adapt, no you know what I'm saying, and that's what we're not doing out there in the world, we're not adjusting and not adapting, and the people who are adjusting and adapting, they, that's where the hate coming in, you feel what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, is it's like, the hate is real, no? you know what I'm saying, we, we talk about so many different avenues about the street, but we overlook the hate, how you think you, your man get killed? You dig what I'm saying? They don't be just the regular niggas spending shit. You know what I'm saying? These phones and shit, that shit for real. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like we just a product of our environment, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we lost. You know what I'm saying? Then the ones who ain't lost, some of us brainwashed. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like it's just a market of our city. You dig what I'm saying? So that's why it's... You see a lot of people say, you know, you got to go outside to D.C. to make it. Now, there's a lot of people that come mm -hmm. in D.C. and take our money and roll and laugh. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's, it's like, we got to smarten up. You know you what I'm saying? You got to get the business solid. You want to get the business solid, it's not going to be nothing anyway. You're going for nothing anymore. Because at the end of the yeah, day, if you, if you ain't like, basically like, what's your next step? You know what I'm saying? What's our next step after that? Street dreams, we know where we're going at after this. We know our next 20 steps after that. And, and, and it's what makes you different. You got to dare to be different. A lot of y'all running in the same same lane. A lot of y'all still in the same box. Mm -hmm. You say you got to get outside of this area. When niggas don't even know you 30 minutes, 15 minutes down the street, 
How could you want to be known and you not even know and networking yourself 15 minutes down the street? Mm-hmm. And networking is not dick rock. Stop attaching them to that. Mm-hmm. This is 2023. When you networking, that don't mean you dick rock. If I salute OG Prayer and Jora Flowers, that don't mean I'm dick rock. I mean I'm a fan of her art, I'm a fan of her work. And I can say that humbly because guess what? I have been a fan. Mm-hmm. Even even with clout, mm-hmm. you can still be a fan. Mm-hmm. Even with a name, you can still be a fan of a person. That's okay. still a cool thing. Like, like, just be real with your free game, man. You know your your, your network. You it's your you network. Mean? There you have it. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's like me personally, man. Like y'all know, I help everybody. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, like when I come to y'all, y'all come to me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't on no play play shit about what I'm doing. Oh, we, you feel what I'm saying? We got real motion. We in the game. You don't see a chain. I don't want a chain. You feel what I'm saying? Because that nails ain't day, done. Because I do hair all day, baby. But at the end of the day, we are gonna put you on the biggest stage as possible. You know what I'm saying? I done did shows with all of them. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, and there's more to come. There's more motion to come. But at the end of the day, man, when these opportunities, man, come your way for whoever a lot blessed. You know what I'm saying? For these, this man, this fruit. You know what I'm saying? Take advantage of it. That's a fact. And Please stop running with this narrative of the elite flow. I'm tired of it. I don't know about the rest of the people. I'm saying this on camera. I'm tired of it. Because I feel like when you say the elite flow, you put yourself in that box. You, you People who make, make real music can make any type of music. Mm-hmm. They can use any type of flow. Well, if they stop comparing ourselves to these other cities that don't compare them to y'all. Like, they don't care about y'all. They don't like the versatile word because it ain't in their vocabulary. Back in my day, we call it band versatile. I mean, yeah. like, to be like, true for what shit. you like, Files, though, like, man, swag and characteristics, you know what I'm saying? They jacks out swag all over the room. That's you right. feel what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And to be true for what y'all like, we not in the industry for a reason. You feel what I'm saying? But they love our music. You feel what I'm saying? And I ain't just talking about rap music. We talking about go-go. We talking about all types mm-hmm. of shit. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, you know what I mean? You, you, we have to support each other within our cities. You look at Memphis. You look at New York. You look at Atlanta. You look at, I'm talking about as soon as you step off these fronters and shit, it's love. You feel what I'm saying? You yeah, go in their house, you'll be known. Cities. You know what I'm saying? They everybody, the I'm whole block, that. you know, you can walk in their house. But at the end of the mm-hmm. day, it's, it's like when you speak about the crab or the barrel, yeah, that's a small aspect of it, but it's more so of, man, big me, Lord, you. You feel what I'm saying? Due to significant fact of, like I said, we product of our environment, so we can't blame the youngest. You feel what I'm saying? They locked up. Rock of us up, the ones that they didn't lock up, they, we got killed. The ones that didn't get killed, guess what? We out of the game, so guess what? We feel like the youngest don't listen. Guess what? That's a myth, man. That's some bullshit. They listen. I got a rock of youngest that listen to me. Real shit, and I'm just saying at the end of the day, nah, they want to listen to, they just ain't listen to no bullshit. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? They ask me every day, man, you did all that motherfucking time while you go back to the hood because you can't go. You know what I'm saying? I do the shit that you won't do. You know what I'm saying? When they trying to do some stupid shit, nah, that ain't stupid shit. You dig know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, yeah, when you walk around that stupid shit, yeah, of course it's life. We already, we trapped in the shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, ain't nobody helping us to change conditions. Where the rec centers at? They knocking our schools down. You dig what I'm saying? They're making this shit more diverse. They pushing us out. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? This is the shit that don't be talked about. That need to be talked about. You dig what I'm saying? We worrying about who's this, who's this, who's this, who's that. But at the end of the day, man, let's be real. You dig what I'm saying? It's what we talking about paying our bills. I'm talking about the small shit, a phone bill. You know what I'm saying? That's the real shit. You know what I'm saying? Not Rabbi uh, Prana is, 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 is going to get a chain or this and that or... What's her net real shit? You, we already won a smoke. You're a winner right now by doing this interview, bro. That's why my daughter has her own lip gloss company. Kiss by time. Princess. She's yeah, a we already won. We making best. history. Right. We making uh-huh. history for our city, just like each individual out there in the next state. Respectful states making history for their city. So at the end of the day, that hate don't matter. It ain't gonna stop what Allah has blessed for us. Mm-hmm. Just like He got blessed with you, bro. You just went in there and killed that shit. Did you? You did right what I'm saying? On and like it wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, that's your gift. Can't nobody take that away. I can hate on your ass all I want to. It ain't going to change the fact that you got your own gift. You know what I'm saying? So we have our own way of evaluating things to be truthful with you. And this herb right here, we need to keep our opinion to ourselves. 
You know what I'm saying? Because this earth ain't cut from the cloth that we cut from. So words cut different. Words hit different. Like you say, everybody off the internet. You feel me? So everybody off the internet, guess what? Everybody like to be strolled. Everybody like illusions. Everybody like to be lied to. You dig what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, when you come in, like you say, standing on business. Now, nah, standing on business don't mean you putting your work in our curry or joint and all that shit. Standing mm -hmm. on business mean a rap of responsible shit. Take care you dig what I'm saying? Take care you. Yeah, care. all that shit. Take care you. You gotta stand on something. You got mm -hmm. that standing on business. You dig what I'm saying? Fuck all the rest of that shit because you ain't go to jail. You ain't do this. I, that's life. You ain't supposed to do that shit. But at the end of the day, is you got to. Jail ain't supposed to be a bounce for you. No, right. Never. Please stop trying to make that. Going to jail, snake and salmon. None of that's supposed to be fucking bounce. And I'm glad you touched on that for one second. Crying, I'm glad you touched on that. The aspect of jail because people. Try to be relevant off other people relevant. You see, you know what I'm saying? They try to stay relevant off of the next person. Mm -hmm. But jail is ain't nothing that's gonna keep you lit, man. If you a rapper, you dig what I'm saying? You fucking your way up. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? You, 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 you dig what I'm back. saying? So you doing all that shit and to be truthful with you, know, like jail is for losers. Jail is for homeless motherfuckers. Jail is, you know what I'm saying, for goofy people. You know what I'm saying? It ain't for nobody who really got some emotion, who really just give yourself a chance. Me, I give myself a real life chance. That's why you see what I see. Maybe because I'm only one, or uh, I ain't gonna say the only one, a small percentage of the ones who, man, give yourself a chance in the city. That's why you see shit. That's why we here talking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know you, you don't know me. But at the end of the day, guess what? We establish a great bond. You know sure. what I'm saying? It's for eternity. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, the perspective about this. Jail shit, you losing your family, man. Like I say, man, you doing a lot of shit. I just gave back a life sentence due to I was a juvenile in prison. You feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you hurting your family. You putting distance on the relationship. And you putting your life in a pause. And you yeah. putting your life on the pause. Like, you know, like, to be true for what you like. You look at, you. we go outside the studio, you look out on the streets, everybody going to a destination. Right now, yeah, we stuck. You dig what I'm saying? But we learning something. You know what I'm saying? We benefit, whatever. You dig what I'm saying? But... In the hood, we stuck, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been gone all these motherfucking years, man. It's still the same shit. You know what I'm saying? It's sad, but it's true. I went to jail for 11 months. And I came back to this shit, and all of a sudden, it's the same. All my yeah. friends in the same spot. Niggas all the people doing the same leave. shit. Be like, be I've never seen a bunch right? of people that want to do the same thing over and over. Yeah, day. but you, you know, you got to give yourself a chance. So I'm an inspiration for a lot of people. That's you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate all the ones, man, who be in my DMs, man, that they give me that praise, man, that they keep them motivated and keep me motivated because mm -hmm. they my strength. You know what I'm saying? You my strength now. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's a lot of times we depend on people who ain't really with us, man. You know I know how that feel, though. Cause yeah. I took three years uh, looking for the sideline. Like, this is my first week. I've been getting a lot of love, but... When I was off and I see the people turn against me, I was laughing because it's like, I never got mm -hmm. mad because I knew in, in the company we had the day when you get cold. So during that time and during that struggle of me just being me, I laughed in the situation because I knew when I come back, I'm going to come back 10 times harder. Mm -hmm. Because when I first came in, I rushed it because my name got bigger than who I am as a person and that's what made me discouraged. So now I don't get in that realm of worry about other people. Like when I first came in, I was worried about being the best. This time, I worried about who I can, who life I can change. Exactly. I mean, to be true for what you, to be true for what you like. Bro, you is the best. You know I what I'm saying? That. You ain't fall off. People like mm -hmm. I compared your story just now to Floyd Mayweather. But they don't go to see him money, go to see him lose. So when people clown you and shit, now nah, you doing something right. You dig what I'm saying? You just stay consistent until you get motivated, man. And that's the thing. I think you still mm -hmm. going to be right now. And that's why you're you doing that. that. You just stay consistent just right on a smaller scale. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's all it was. You just took a break to be able to think shit through. Yeah, really. And that's how it is, man. It's life. You right. You know what I'm saying? So I had to look at You know how, like, when you when you, when you you doing something, and your name is ready, it may be cool. And it's for the young people that don't know. It may be cool that your name ready, right? But who life you changing? Who who life are you getting ahead more than yours? Because you don't do it for yourself. You never do shit for self. Mm -hmm. I don't do this for self. Mm -hmm. I do this for this for the people that don't get to talk. 
I, I do this for the ones who stuck in the hood that can't get out. Because I go to those different hoods. Mm-hmm. I've been to the most notorious hoods and the most notorious ghettos in Washington, D.C., Berlin, Virginia. I done been to North Carolina. I done, I done traveled the world and been to the ghettos. Because these, these are the stories that, that, that make me feel like I can make it. It's been many times I've been set with a lot of celebrities and they said, damn, I'm just a kid from Lando that made it out. Mm-hmm. It's me. Like, I'm that handsome. I really made it to mm-hmm. a, far, for a far place. And I lived in poverty. I had the mother and father that was on drugs. So I know what you're speaking about. My dad, my dad was doing time. I see, I see it. So when you when you visualize and look at these different aspects, and then you get to and then you get to sit down and talk to people like you, strangers, it come from a, it, it, it hit a different it hit different mm-hmm. because your story your story can motivate a lot of people. Mm-hmm. My story can motivate a lot of people, but your story can resonate with the people that's in that in the in the predicaments. Because if you go to the predicaments and you see how these people are living, mm-hmm. you wouldn't want that on your worst enemy. Freedom bell grabbers. Lots of little lots of little grabbers going five hundred years right now. But that's what that should be. And to to piggyback off of why you do it, you know, I do it too to to touch a heart, to touch a soul. I did a show this summer up at uh, Fort Gravel. Last summer, uh they had the go go bands up there. I performed with them and um did a few of my songs with Boss Lady Boss Lady Breezy. Shout out to my sis. And uh, I'm not going to mention the rapper's mother name, but I'm, she cried. She walked up to me and cried and was like, my son is locked up right now and for some reason he didn't do it. Da, da, da. And that just, that song was just so, and I didn't never, I thought that, but I didn't really think it would happen. Like it really happened. Like she let the whole box see her cry. Came up to me and hugged me and told me this. And I said, wow, like I touched somebody hard. That's what I do it for. When I finish my set, the show we just had at uh, Socks with Black Y'all, shout out to Black Y'all. And uh, new impressions. I got off the stage. It was so many females that I inspired. I don't even know them. They was like, man, just keep going. What you doing? My God, girl, you tore that up. Like, that's what I do. But you had a buzz. You had a buzz before these people, Mm -hmm. before the internet. Mm -hmm. So you had a day where you had to go household to household to household to household. Mm -hmm. When people had a phone, they didn't have an internet. I sold CDs out the trunk. Well, yeah, like what music was was transition different. Like, you had to sell CDs to me. Yeah. For, to be an artist, yeah. you had to go to different different places. That, in DC, that's back when Chocolate City was Chocolate City, like mm-hmm. where it was different, where a lot of people wasn't coming outside. Nope. A lot of the ones now wouldn't be outside back in your day. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I know this because I grew up in that. I I, I, I seen that era, they and my survive. daddy talked about Lord and then all you know what I'm saying, Lord Vinny and, and shit like that. So I I I hear those war stories. They still walk a mile in these. So y'all been for the y'all been for this city, right? Mm-hmm. This, this is a question I always wanted to ask the OGs. Y'all been for this city. Y'all see where where it's going, the radio, the people. Do y'all feel like we can build the balance between the different hoods and the different? Because the rap, I ain't gonna lie, the rap is really killing our city. It I'm is. Being honest. It is. The hip hop scene is making a violence to what? It's a lot. I haven't, man, this is so crazy. Me rapping back then, right? Uh, people would get killed. Yeah, my bro- my brother got killed in '93. Rest in peace, Marty Hill. But to see all these babies, these baby boys dying That's over a fucking years. song and a chain, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Y'all know I had a son. My son passed away, but he passed away from epilepsy. He had a seizure in September, um, two years ago. Rest in peace to him, too. And his name is Marty Bell as well. Thank you. And I kept my son out of the street because I didn't want him to get killed when he was little, even though we lived in the hood. I lived in 37 and Lincoln Heights. And I told him, you're not a robber. You're not going to be a thief. You're not going to be a thug. You're not going to be a rapist. You're not going to be a killer. You're not going to be none of that. What are you? He would say, I'm a prince. I'm going to be a king. I'm great. I'm smart. I'm beautiful. This is how I raised my child. My child wasn't in the street, but he's still gone. So I do feel these moms' pain even more. I lost my brother young than my son. This shit is crazy. I, we have to do better. And whatever I can do, if anybody need me to do anything, DM me personally. i start some shit up. Man, let me know. But we need to do something for real. I'm, I'm going to start something for my son. Stand, but we got to take a stand. I'm like. calling y'all out for real. If y'all want me to do something, DM me. You'll be true for what you like. I'm on it. 
like how Prana said, like it started with the people, but like far as though mine, it's like far as though like my environment and the government officials and things like that, man. Um, when it's, you gotta get a grant to the right people, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, they been giving it to the great people, Where, 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 where people that really can make a change where people really can strategize on systems and things like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And where is that? We got to understand that, 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 that adapt to the environment. You know what I'm saying? We know that the youth love music. We know that that's the headliner of crime in D.C. Why we can't come up with a system to be able to put rec centers and studios and shit in these respectful hoods and things like that mm -hmm. to be able to man keep them at bay to be able to have they emotion. think it's going to promote more violence so we have to show them that what? that's not what we doing we look we yeah we can say it's the mayor's them it's that whoever nah it's us we gotta grab and get our community back and grab these kids and show them how we change the community then maybe they will help us i mean no nah, i mean they they we, we gotta they, do something sooner they definitely do it you know what i'm saying they do uh shows with smithsonian they do block mm -hmm. parties and things like that. You know what I mean? For certain motherfucker artists that's, you know what I mean? That not even damn be artists and mm -hmm. things like that. So that's what we do over here at Street Dreams as well, mm -hmm. too. You know what I'm saying? We're creating a, a, a major platform, you know what I'm saying? Industry platform. Those who know me already know how we move when when it comes to our shows and shit. Um, and like I say, like far as over Prana, um, to be true for what you heard coming over here, dealing with Street Dreams, she's still the CEO of Holy World. And she got her own motion going on. You know what I'm saying? Great things in the future to come along as well. And um, me, her attachments to me is just to put her so you hate us sincere. You know what I'm saying? And I take my job very serious in mm -hmm. making sure that that happens by any means necessary. You know what I'm saying? So um, she got a lot of great things coming on. Slash mommy girl too. Um, Boss lady as well, you know what I'm YG saying? So YG too. Princess, you know what I'm saying? Um, so we got a lot of great things coming on, you know what I'm saying? As well as a brand new brand, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? This is something that you can hold on Fresh to. Fresh talent, my you daughter thirteen, she rap and she battle rap. She has nah, a like business. I say, I, we I didn't been indulged with a rapper artists in the city, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> and um, like I say to the ones who. Then been on these shows, then been on these bushy shows, dirt shows, and ground me or whatever, man. Just stay focused, man. You know what I'm saying? Stay grinding. Keep your head on the swivel. Keep your head on the swivel. Mm -hmm. Like, know your ass at. And just, man, give yourself a chance, bro. You stay know what I'm saying? Home. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You right. know what I'm saying? You got to roll the dice of yourself before you roll your dice with anybody else. Invest in yourself, too, as and well. Please, man, like I say, ain't nobody going to give y'all their money, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like... And just, man, be be real with the situation, man. You, This is what you love. This is what you say you do. You know what I'm saying? Stand on. Prime. You know what I mean? Stand on business and shit. You know what I'm saying? The same way you shout out your mind, don't live that person. Man, put that dream in. Yeah. Put that energy to what you want to do too. And still on that. Right you know I mean? So, but at the end of the day, man, just stay focused, man. And keep your head on that sport. Craig, what you got coming up? Um... <laughs> um, I got my new song Dada that just uh, dropped. What is it like a week and a half? Oh, maybe y'all need to go get it. Get that. It's out now on all major platforms. Uh, Savage as well. Those are like my melodic. I stepped into the melodic lane, so I'm switching it up a little bit. Uh, tapping into my feminine side. Um, I got a battle coming up in Cali. Hmm. You love DJ Cali all right now. Huh? You got the DJ Cali on mm -hmm. Okay. Um, God, yeah, my, my bad. Uh, I did the God Did remix. I dedicated that to my son as well. That video is out on YouTube as well. Street Dreams did one as well. And Jones Crank, we performed those at uh, the club the other night too. Um, uh, at the Sax. Um, I got a battle uh, coming up in Cali on the so on the West Coast. It'll be my debut. Um, as soon as I get the card and the information, y'all know I'm dropping that online. Um, That's major. She just said that shit like. I mean, because it's what I do. You niggas don't even get out of you niggas don't even do. get out of Washington DC. Yeah, we she just said she flying to a whole other coast. Yeah, we got another show coming you up. You niggas don't got a show down the street. Yeah, we got a show coming up. You niggas ain't never performed that red lounge. You told us who. She uh, said, yeah, I got a show in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> we were Republican on the team. She did, huh? Mm-hmm. 
Republic Records. And uh, meeting with Republic uh, Records uh, the 24th Republic. of this month, the end of this month. I think mean, the motion is moving. You know? And y'all already know. I just dropped 20 bangers <laughs> for y'all. Y'all already know. 20 of uh, them. Top to bottom. You already know. 1 through 20. Bangers. Shit out of your damn songs. Y'all motherfuckers better check this out. You got something to say? We got fair five, give me honest. And then I'm gonna ask you personally, we got fair five battle raps. Oh, yeah, that's it. Because I love battle rap, but I'm gonna tell you, bro. Pause it. Go ahead. Three, two, one. Shoot, Jay, who's your fair five, give me honest? Oh, that's a good one, too. My favorite five, give me honest. Me. Mm hmm. I can count me or of course. Me. I damn should have said me. Pran. Mommy Girl. Straight. Draco. I got one more too though. That's it. So no, six man? Yeah. 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 It's, it's uh my nephew, Lil Jake. From the guy? Yeah. It's one of my friends. Yeah. I love Lil bro. Yeah, my nephew. But to be now, all the rest of them they still crank though, but me personally, that's where I'm at. Okay, so. we at for the tour. I know you got it already. Oh, an ace crank too. Ace crank too. Yeah. Uh, let me see. My favorite so five battle rappers, of course, you know, Miss Hustle is my favorite female battle rapper. Um, Shuni. Uh, far as the males, Swerk, New Jersey Swerk, you know, that's, that's my man, that's the guy. Um, he's misunderstood with drugs. I think drugs is smoke, Dr what you call it. Drugs is crazy, I love drugs. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I love T-Rock, but drugs is talking to me about they just battled? Yeah. Oh, is it out? Yeah. Oh, I gotta go. I watch just watched that. it. <laughs> and, um, who's my fifth? Because uh, I got a lot. Who's my fifth? Who I go crazy? Uh, Charlie Clips. I need to say mine's in front of her. Charlie Clips. She will be ready to pee in about her. Charlie Clips. Clips. What? Who's your favorite five? <laughs> All right. Free the wave, man. Oh, yeah, free away, you know what I mean? Free away, man. Uh, Sue Surf, definitely one of my favorite top. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go, uh, uh, God, it's hard. You see, it top, is. Hey, it, it's hard, it's even harder because I'm in front of Prada. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go Tay Rock because that's, that's, that, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's home. Uh, Shotgun shoot. I love him. Fire. Hitman Harlem. Okay. Okay. Which, 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 I, I gotta go. Arson. No mid here? No mid. I just named. No I, I mid. I don't think that was more, right? But you ain't named no mid here. Make sure you check my shit on. No mid here. No battle rap? Oh, no. We said battle rap. We talking about battle rap. Me no missy, come on, your favorite. You gotta get missy a shot. Don't do them like that. Hurt. I ain't going to my Thank you. <laughs> I ain't going to my house. I gotta go hurt. It's even hurt. Thank you. See, you. I was non biased. I didn't name myself. It's even hurt. I wanted right to, out. but I was really going to end she, battle rap because I know it's a lot of people that's, you know. She made me go to it. I gotta go I hurt. Know, but just saying, I'm hungry, bro. Because this is like. I smoked a lot of that couple of times. Yeah, so, so, so now, now yeah. you be your favorite DMV. I'm going to say my favorite DMV. Um, now that one I will say myself. <laughs> God damn it, first. Cause I'm smoking niggas and bitches, y'all know that. Um, no savage, of course. Three savage. Oh, can I say something too before I say the rest of my list? And a lot of people don't know this. Eva Savage learned how to rap in my studio that I had on Barnaby Terrace of High Point. Um, rest in peace, Tady, G Y son, and my little cousin BB Brother in the in the and my brother Highway was like, come on, rap nigga. I don't rap, I don't rap. Nigga Highway, OG Highway. Yeah, man. Highway Woody, shout out to him. Yeah, so. That's how Savage stopped rapping, but uh, no Savage. Um, Boss Lady Breezy, man, y'all better go check her the fuck out. She is. I've been on Breezy before she even rapped. Man, Breezy fire. That's my dog. Um, Kenneth Katrina. 
You niggas is asleep. Y'all, a lot of y'all probably don't even know who that is. What the hardest thing. I got a sneaky peek for y'all. Street dreams. This nigga fire. Y'all go listen to what this nigga be talking about. He not rapping like these young He's sticking to his gun. All right, my favorite five. I'm going to go Barack. Mm-hmm. Super Triple. Mm-hmm. That's my sixth man. I know, I know. That's my sixth man. I'll keep my brother, man. I'll keep my brother. Double head. Yes, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, R.P. Swipey. Yeah. A lot of the people I like, a lot of the people I like, mm -hmm. I pass through. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people that I have listened to, y'all gotta understand, I, I, I came in the game eight years, so I seen some of these people Rise to the top yeah. and, and rise to the top and lose their life. You know what I'm saying? Short. So, and I gotta go. I'm gonna go pray to and I gotta go. Love you, love you, New York. Lundy. Rest in peace, love you, my Rest sister. Rest in peace, Lundy. A lot of y'all, it's just see Prana. You see, she she know like when I used to throw all girl showcases. Man. A lot of you niggas imitated my swag. Like, Man. I did a lot for this coaching. A lot of y'all mm -hmm. look up to me as. I need to clear y'all my taxes for real. I'ma say this too. No, I'm not <laughs> like and I no bullshit. I'ma say this too. Not to say a motherfucker's stealing, but I be saying a little copycat and shit. And I'ma say this. That. And this is why I love this is why I love Lundy. I'm not saying Lundy copycatted. Lundy had a serious, versatile, vicious ass fucking flow like myself. I always saluted that little girl. She's an angel right now. I've always saluted her. I know a little one that got one. Lundy got it, had it, and Breezy got it. Y'all been fucking boss like Breezy. I'm trying to say it was just the vibe, like all right, all right, and I they see, under I see years. why you, I see why you say like yourself because yeah. the vibe is she work and, and how hard she grew. And my, yeah, mommy girl, shout out there, shout out to mommy girl. She man, she got hurt, man. She got her own little flow, so she like, had a problem. Like I ain't gonna lie, some of the females in the city harder than the niggas, like literally. Yeah. I, I remember I did an all female girl show. It was like 14 females. Like, I never forget. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like, I was from the main mm -hmm. Dom of the district. Mm -hmm. Dom of the district, shout you out to him. That's a sis, yes. You got Panky Rapper, you know what I'm saying? We got, mm -hmm. we got a lot of females. Salute Blanca. We got Brady, we got a lot of it, It's Thank a lot. Look on, man. It's just so many. It's a lot of females that really doing their thing. It's a lot of females mm -hmm. that push the culture. A lot of people behind a lot of shit in this city that they can move. Yeah, they push, they pushing a lot of people. Salute to Miss Gutter. Right way too. Yeah, salute to Miss Gutter. That's you know, my baby. We really got a lot to say, man. You know what I'm saying? We just got to, like I say, we going to meet, I'm going to meet with Republic Records, you know what I'm saying, on the end of this month. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what I'm saying? Like I say, I'm, we create motion to be the gateway, you know what I'm saying? So we trying to bridge the gap with these people, man, so they can let us in, man. You know what I'm saying? So we got a great chance, you know what I'm saying? So they basically like been on my line for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Up a little ladies and shit fuck with me in spots, you know what I'm saying? Just to see what I'm on, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, like, we gonna give them a taste you know of that shit. So, I'm almost tell them they can find on social media. Um, Y'all already know, the real OG underscore Prana, P-R-A-N-A, -A. not Prana, not Prana, not nothing else, Prana, get it the fuck right. Um, my Twitter is JuicyP57, my Facebook is Prana, OG Prana, the T-A-H-G-M-S-E, follow me on all sides. Street Dreams, man, y'all can follow me on IG, the real Street Dreams, you can see on the end of Dreams, man, I got a uh, mixtape, oh man, 20 songs on it, man, no features, man, all bangers, man. And last closing remarks, man, to the youngest man and the females and everybody out there, man. To be true, to what you stop placing too much importance on unimportant shit, man. You know what I'm saying, man? If it ain't create no motion, man, create no avenue for y'all to take care of y'all kids, y'all families, no shit like that, man. Think that shit through, man. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't gonna affect you, man, think how it'll affect you from a week from now, a year from now, two years from now, how it gonna affect your mother. You know what I'm saying? Just think way, think through it. Just be smart up a little bit. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But stay dangerous at the same time. Y'all know who I am. If you ain't following my social media, you ain't living right. You know, I got motion like a tight end. It ain't no TV without me. Cut no TV, street religious block, any hood, be block. Y'all know what it is. I'm live. See it with OG Prada, Street Dreams. I want to tell y'all, to the gunners out there, follow the dreams, stand on business, Never stand did. on principle. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to support. Dick Ryan, Dick Ryan is is not networking, so stop attaching that.
man, help your brother, help the person that's next to you. Look out for the for the uh, for the elderly and, and, and take care of the kids, man. God know I promote the youth and, and, and never will pollute it. Yes. But with that being said, straight drink the move. Holy world, ain't bitch. <laughs>